Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we're going to be doing the borders for the Ruby Sampler quilt and putting that quilt together. So this video is going to be probably a lot of time lapse just showing you guys as we move through it. I had to cut a lot of blocks. Let me show you. So these are all of the blocks that I cut for the for the border of the quilt and I wanted to make it pretty scrappy but also wanted to include as much of the fabric of that beautiful fabric line as possible so I have a fairly even amount of every single one of those and then I had to cut here it is all of these little white blocks so I'll show you how we're going to put together one of those blocks and then basically I'm going to sew a whole bunch of them in a line and then we'll be ready to put the borders on and lay out the quilt itself. So super exciting stuff here, ready to get this quilt done and uh, let's jump into it now, okay? Here we go. Okay everybody, so on the top left hand corner are gonna be the blocks that are gonna be the corner pieces to the quilt and then I'm just flipping through all of the fabric that I have cut, which is multiple pieces from each of the fabrics that I used in this quilt. Then on my right hand side, I have a bunch of little white corner pieces or square pieces that are going to end up being corner pieces for this block. I'm going to mark a line down the center of this from corner to corner and you're going to sew on the line and then cut a quarter inch away from that. Now, if you don't have, if you don't want to mark all of these, then I would recommend getting seam tape so that it makes it a lot easier, which is what I ended up doing. And then you can go through and just chain piece these without having to worry about marking that center line. Personally, I like to do several on one side and then take them all off and go back and finish that so that at the end of a session, I have several completed blocks to do. So here is what you're left with after you have chain pieced all of your blocks. You're gonna go through and cut that quarter inch away so that you end up with these two little triangles to do something with later or toss. And then we're gonna take this block and we're going to press it in a very specific way. I actually messed up the first time around that I did this. And so I have to remember whenever I press these blocks to press them correctly. So the top right hand corner, I'm gonna press with the seam going away from me. And on the left hand corner, I'm actually going to press so that the seam comes towards me, which is what I'm fixing right here. And I've got an example to show you guys in a second. The reason that you're gonna do this is so that as you sew those blocks together to make your border fabric, those seams are gonna nest really nicely, which is gonna help your pieces end up looking crisper and those lines a lot nicer. And here is that example that I was talking about on a darker fabric so you can see it. So when I flip it over, you see that top right hand corner is pressed away from me, the top left is coming towards me, and then you'll have alternating away from you towards you so that they nest better. Now, as always, once you have gone through and you have pressed your blocks and you are ready to then cut them to size, you do want to do this carefully when you have a block like this because it's not perfectly square, so you can't use your square ruler. And you want to make sure that you're cutting evenly on both sides so that you don't end up with one side that looks a lot smaller than the other side, um, especially because you have those corner white corner pieces that you're lining up throughout the quilt. So the next step here, once you've cut all of these pieces, is you're going to sew them together. And I want to do this in kind of an alternating pattern um, using various colors so that I don't use the same ones over and over or have the same color together. The next step here, once you've sewn those together, is to go ahead and iron the seam. I'm gonna press the seam open so that this will lay down better as I go back through when I'm ready to quilt this. And there it is. All right, everybody. So as you can see, I've got two blocks sewn together of the border. Obviously, I'm gonna go through and do the rest of all of these blocks going one at a time, trying to alternate between the really dark red blocks and the lighter white blocks, not using any of the solids for this border, and we'll have the border go across the top, the bottom, and obviously the sides. The corner pieces of the block um, at the end going between the top and the sides, that corner piece will consist of one square. I've got several, four, 
several. I have four different fabrics, four blocks. Um, obviously, I'm going to try and make sure that I don't use the same corner block fabric as I do on the edges of each of these strips. So I'll be doing those strips, putting those together, and then the next step will be going through and actually piecing all of the blocks together and putting the borders onto the final quilt top. So hopefully I'll be able to get that video out here soon. As always, I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you are interested in this quilt, so there's a link down below to Kristen Gassaway's blog on connecting threads where she goes through each of these blocks in detail. For um, those of you who are interested in doing this quilt, you'll have to refer to her for that. Uh, there are several of the blocks that I had already completed prior to doing this series. So there are some blocks on this quilt that you guys haven't seen, but I look forward to getting this quilt together and eventually getting it onto the quilt loom to go ahead and get it done. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.